Alright, so did I, what, what is all these fucking, who, when did I, why did I, can I, yeah, um, yeah, alright, I'll address that. Alright, so I've been asked this about a hundred times before, okay, now a hundred, I may be over-exaggerating, but I've been asked this a lot. Sergeant, you've been so heavily involved in the Team Fortress 2 trading community in your time on Steam. You've been a member of the Manco trading staff as a moderator, you've been a member of the Skyle trade staff as an administrator, and you've been a member of the Harpoon Gaming staff as... Again, an administrator. All three of those revolving around trading. One with unusual, one with trading, and the other also with trading. But all of them have something to do with trading. Who the fuck don't you make trading videos? And to that I can say, I really, I really don't know. I've been on Steam for quite some time, and my main reason is I'm not sure what to upload. I mean, a lot of the stuff are rather basic. Just a bunch of things. You've already seen, you should already know, and if you don't know, then that's not a me problem, that's a you problem, but I still think it's worth sharing. And so I guess I can start doing trade videos from now on, but I'm gonna do them not as frequently as I do with other videos just revolving around the game itself. So, um, Invasion already came out, this is not an Invasion video. And I'm really sorry for that. I do want to make an invasion video, but until there's something fixed with the CFD or sorry, config, basically the same thing. Um, there's something going on with the invasion con uh, your configs where if you load into an invasion map with a config, it will crash it. Like your TF2 will crash the moment you load in. That is that's frustrating. How I'm not able to run at a smooth FPS that I prefer because of the stupid stupid reason on why I can't roll the game and I don't know why I did look around and it, the main reason is my config but I'm not sure what it is in my config that's causing the main issue but let's let's move aside from that so let's talk since this is going to be my first ever trade video relative to trading in Team Fortress 2 let's talk about probably the most recent thing of all oh, and that would be gunmetal weapon skins now you might be thinking sergeant who it gives a shit like gunmetal came out what, what exactly are you trying to explain to us about like what makes this skin better in what i'm trying to describe so um with the skins a lot of them if you look very closely on a lot of these skins there are certain patterns on them. For example, if you have the, I believe it was the Dead Reckoner or the Dead Reviver. I forget the name of the revolver, but that revolver has two different designs. One without hats on the skulls and one with hats on the skulls. The one with hats on the skulls are worth more. Let's talk about another one. Just plenty of them have... TF2 logos or blood on them. Blood and TF2 logos, especially if they're in a good spot, are worth something. If you have it on like the front of the gun, it may be cool to the person viewing it, but it's cooler if it's on like the front side or the left side or the right side of the gun, depending on um, uh, which hand your View, uh, view model is in, whether it's left hand or right hand, I go by left hand, so if it's on the left side of your gun, like when you first like hold your inspect key and you see like the gun, and you see that one side first, that side has the, if that side has the pattern or the unique pattern or the unique design on it, people will prefer that more. If you describe that like when you're making a trade on outpost or bazaar or tf2tp or whatever it may be if you describe that your gun is different from any other gun that's currently out there or any other gun 
in comparison to a regular one, then you might end up making profit. So what I'm going to suggest is when you are buying or selling a skin, look at the gun first. If it has a cool pattern on it, and you might want to research this a bit yourself, because a lot of the patterns are rather vague, and uh, are really like not looked for immediately. Like when I saw the hats on the the Dead Reckoner, I was like, it, I didn't even know there were hats on this thing. I just, I just wanted I just want to get this revolver because it has skulls on it. That was kind of cool. I, I like pure black revolvers with skulls on it. That was kind of cool. But the fact that some of them can have hats on it really adds the goofy aspect TF2 itself portrays just about with every update. Even even this one now with Invasion. There's <laughs> the bat saber. That's uh, that's pretty silly. But um, but what I am gonna say is again, take a look at your skins. People will pay if if they're really interested, because a lot of the skins, like the blood or the circling TF2 logo, some of those are just really dumb. Like, oh, that's cool. You got like a TF2 logo on it on something that no one really cares about. But if you have like, what's a really cute one is on the Woodland Warrior rocket launcher. There's a spy crab on it. If, like, a rare pattern of it is a spy crab. And, um, that one is, <laughs> it's worth probably more than any of the other rare patterns on any of the other skins. Maybe the hats on the, on the, on the stupid, uh, other ones. The <laughs> stupid other ones is kind of rude. But maybe the hats on the other ones. But, in, in general, that one is by far the most preferred, like, I remember, um, on release day of Gunmetal, uh, Scow, they make a form, like, they make a post about every update, and we talk heavily about that update, and, um, we were showing up some skins that we had, and then my friend was like, yo, check out this pattern on this skin, it's really cute, and I'm like, you know what, that is really cute, that pyro, or no, not, <laughs> damn it, that spy crab is really cute, it's very unique, I really want that rocket launcher. At the same time, I already have my shell shocker, and I really like my shell shocker far more than I do the rocket launcher itself. So I won't be able to—I won't be training that. But regardless, it still is a good idea to have to even give your skins a shot. I mean, some people don't keep their skins just because. Oh man, these like if you unbox a skin and it's really shit, don't just immediately assume this skin is shit. Let's sell it as soon as it's tradable or as soon as possible. Look at the damn fucking thing. If you unbox like a good skin and it has like something worth worth it, it may be a better idea to keep it. And when the the hype for like when we're way past the first gunmetal, it it's worth a shot in selling it. So uh I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. And as always, have a nice day.